Yep. 738 Rochester Stockbridge Unified District Board of School Directors Special Meeting Tuesday, April 27th, 2021 at, and as I said, 738 following the budget meeting presentation via Google Meet. We called to order um, adjustment to the agenda. Um, we just have uh, mostly this is called for a special executive session to talk about personnel. Um, I did want to just take a moment to talk about uh, ballot and what the board, I just had a question and what the board was able to do in terms of encouraging people to, or even having, if we had people who were um, eager to be on the ballot for different positions. Um, so I'd like to talk about that for a moment. Um, can we put that into a, um, add that in? before we go to executive session. Say so call that a 2.2. A .2. Are we okay, okay with that? Yes. Justine, Amy, Carl, yes. yep. Megan. Okay. So let's just go into this. Um, it, it just came up because we did get questions from people um, sort of saying, hey, I'm looking at the ballot and there's nobody there. Um, one thing I realized is um, we might have missed the boat in terms of getting, um, being a little more advocate, and I take this on myself, um, uh, uh, advocating for people to sign up in the 30-day window back when they could have, so we could have had names in there. Um, I'm just wondering, and Carl, maybe you have some sense of, um, because you have such a good historical memory, uh, can the board play, can the board suggest um, candidates, can the board take any side in that, or does it have to really come from the public if it's an open uh, writing candidate and anybody else who has that's, on this. That's, that's kind of a fine line. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, in my experience with Stockbridge, when we've had people, um, we had a board member have to leave because um, when we merged with uh, Orange Windsor, they were a, a, a teacher at Sharon and they were no longer allowed to be on the board. Mm -hmm. Um, We've had board members, you know, uh, move or, or age off and in general, or well, age off or get tired of being on it. Um, <laughs> really. um, but in, so we, we've, we've encouraged them to recruit people. Um, but we've also been really, really careful that we don't have a board sanctioned candidate. So like when we brought Jenny in, um, there were a couple of people that were interested. So we did interviews. Um, and again, I think when uh, we were replacing Janie, there were a couple of people interested in. So, so, so we did, you know, basic interviews, but it's, it's the purview of the board um, to, you know, if there's not six names that come out of Stockbridge, it's the purview of the board to um, appoint whoever the board can, you know, wants and can get to agree to do it. And they can serve till either a special election or until the next regular election. I would say that, you know, given that no one was trying to really be on, on the board for the regular, that I don't think the board would be out of place to appoint someone for a year. So if, for example, this Patrick Hudson person um, got five um, and he was interested in, and, and the board, you know, you know, agrees with him, I have not met the person, so I don't know what their agenda is. But in general, when we've been interviewing people in the past, the, the, the big qualifier has been, do you have some sort of, of signature issue or are you just interested in serving kids? If you're coming in to save, you know, to save on taxes or you're coming in because you want to have, you know, more of this, that, or the other thing, we've always been kind of a little bit leery of those people. If you come in and say, I want to have a good school in my town, that's been generally, you know, the, 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 the interview qualifier. We've tried not to have flaming issue people, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's up to the board. If the board does not get um, um, someone that comes out of the Australian ballot with, you know, six exact matches, then the board can, can, can do what the board likes. Amy, thank you, Carl. Amy? Um, yeah, so I think that um, what I had been told was we can – we could tell the public who is currently serving as our um, treasurer, which is uh, Becky Klein, Rebecca Klein, um, and uh, currently serving as our clerk. Um, and 
currently, what's the other, she's serving as our moderator, right? Which is um, our moderator. Doesn't even really matter, like, <laughs> we're not having, like, I guess it does. Uh, Dan McKinley, I think, was our current moderator last time. So Dan McKinley for Rochester and. I think that that's about all we can really say is, and, and then people uh, who want to be on the board and want to uh, have their name written in and get their six votes or or the the one percent um really need to go out there and you know beat some feet on the on the block and and as far as the school district clerk um you know some town some boards um you have the authority to pursue one of your town clerks to see whether or not they are willing for you to appoint them mm -hmm. as um school district clerk people If no, is the is the clerk of the board is that Jenny? Uh, forgive me for not currently knowing. right now it is currently Jenny. it is. So we are going to have to find a new clerk. Yes, Amy. Um, right, and the clerk of the board is Jenny. Does take our minutes for us, which is nice. But that is not what we're position that we're looking for. Is to take the minutes. It's to do the um the other parts, the which voting. is. Um, the voting the, things, the voting, um, getting the certifying the vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do just have a quick question. If somebody, like, let's say Jenny, is voted in, can she um, reject the nomination? Like, if if she ends up being the op because everybody if, just knows her name, can she say no? Thank you. She can. She can certainly say no. Thank you, but she would also get the position if six people wrote in my name. I, I, would, I would have the position, um, you know, pending my refusing it because you can't yeah, just because okay. just people write you in. It's the second constable rule of Vermont. Just because okay, people say you're the second constable doesn't mean you're going to show up and get the dogs off their lawn. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay. Thank you. That that covers that, that topic uh, for me. Um, I think we'll, I'm ready to entertain a motion to go into executive session for a personnel issue. I move we go into executive session to address a personnel issue. Uh, we will invite and, oh, sorry, and to invite in our administration and superintendent. Uh, inviting in our uh, Bonnie Bourne, Lindsay, uh, and uh, Jamie. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Amy. Uh, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We are back from executive session um, with um, at 8.44 p.m. Uh, with no action taken. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved by Carl. Seconded, please. Second. Second, Second by Jenny, I think. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you. We'll Bye. see you next Monday. Thank you.